All right, hey guys, it's Chronic Cobra here today, and yeah, I'm here with my buddy Multi Kills HD. Introduce yourselves, Multi Kills. What's going on, guys? It's Multi Kills HD. As uh, a couple of you guys might notice, so uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem, man. It's great to having you. And uh, I understand you have a thing on your channel right now called the Road to Leap to Lead to Win Streak. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's a series where. <laughs> I'm one of the biggest tryhard you will probably ever meet on Xbox, and what I mean by this, I totally just don't care about KD, but if that win doesn't happen, then there's going to be a big rage. So, you know, my team's always one of those people that knows if we start losing, there's going to be raging. But my commentaries, you know, those are all cool. Uh, right now, we're just hit the 231 streak mark and uh, nobody's even came close to us. I think the closest was 1500 score off in TDM, so it's going pretty good so far. Oh, that's nice. Uh, what kind of inspired you to do that? I understand it's like leaks and black cool and stuff, but it's a big There's goal. this guy on YouTube, I'm not sure if you ever heard of him. He was a zombie slayer. He's one of my friends. His name's Yodi Slayer. Oh, yeah. And basically he had a road to 1337 rounds and zombies on black or world at war where you were able to basically get up to 1337 there was no 99 limit like there is on black ops so basically i asked him hey would it be cool if i would do this because i knew the game was coming out i knew i was going to be trying this whole season and you know he's like yeah sure let's do it so he's been supporting me pretty much all the time and he's been playing with us a lot oh that's pretty cool so, you and Yodi Slayer have been in touch? Yep. Oh, yeah. I've seen a couple of those episodes of Road Delete on Machinima. Yeah, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. And I also understand that be a long you play GB, and you're very competitive. Would you like to start, talk to us about that? Uh, sure. Uh, basically, in 09, I was the number two rank in singles letters. For fall and winter, I like I said, I'm a big tryhard. My 1v1 record was over 600, and I believe 20 something, and I only had 10 losses that whole season. So you know, most of those were by a sniper, but there was a couple times where I actually had to get assault rifles out on NW2. And uh, just this week, we were doing a couple 4v4s, and we ended up beating a team op the optic competitive team. Wow. And uh, that really surprised me, considering that they won a ton of MLG events. And last night, actually, we beat Team Envious, which is another one of the biggest teams. And we beat them 3 0, so I was kind of surprised about that. They've lost standing by. Oh. Sorry. Um. <laughs> okay. So. You do sniping, from what I heard? Uh, yeah, I do a lot of competitive sniping. I've been in. Well, when I started sniping, I was back in, I'd say, 06 or 07. And I was actually in the original M40 with Optic Predator, Optic Rated, and people like that. So, what do you think about sniping in Mario Kart 3? Do you think it's... I think that it's overall better than it was on Black Ops, but it's not up to NW2 standards yet. It just seems like whenever I'm going for a huge kill feed, my bullet seems to either curve to the left, right, up, or down by a couple inches. And I don't know if they did this so people can't go on huge spawn trapping feeds, but it seems like the bullet has been curving a lot on these quad feeds I've missed out. Because I went into the theater and watched them straight up curve all the way to the right when there's a straight quad lined up and it curves and only hits one of them. Wow. Yeah, I've also noticed that, like, whenever I try to, like, quick scope, I haven't done much sniping, but whenever I try to, most of the time I can't, like, do a clean quick scope. I have to aim in for a little bit and drag. And, yeah, so I haven't been sniping much in MW3. And what level are you so far in MW3? Uh, I'm just about to hit second prestige, but I have 24 hours game time of double experience that I'm ready to use whenever, so. Oh, wow. Well. It's going to be a fun two days. I am, right now I'm averaging a day for two prestigious, so that's pretty good. So how do you think competitive gaming will fare for MW3? Will it, will it compete with like Black Ops and Call of Duty 4 from the past and all those other Call of Duties? 
Well, well honestly, I think that, you know, whenever a new Call of Duty comes out, there's a lot of people that start being in the competitive mode, but it usually fades out around Christmas time. And, uh, you know, hopefully there's a lot more people, because over the last two years, it just really went downhill for the amount of competitors. Uh, on NW2, there was a lot of lot of singles ladders, and on Black Ops, for a couple times, there was maybe one to two people on there per day. So I hope that that restarts. Yeah, I gotcha. I, I, I myself did a little GB for Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. And I'm not, like, the biggest competitive player, but I actually did pretty well. Uh, I didn't do much, but it was at the end of Black Ops' life. And I didn't do too bad, but... I don't know, just wasn't my cup of tea, so I went back. Yeah, it wasn't really mine either. I had a lot of trouble on that game. And I had something else I was going to ask you, but do you have anything you want to ask me? Uh, sure. What level are you on NW3, and uh, what's your favorite weapon so far? Okay, so I'm first prestige level 71. I have like a day and a half played. But, yeah, I like to play the objective, you know, and my favorite kind of player. My favorite kind is probably the AK-47 or the MK-14. The MK-14 is pretty good, it's like a two-shot kill. Rapid fire. Probably one of my favorite setups. And I also like rocking out the support class. Or support streaks. I don't know. Just all the perks have a huge advantage over people. Do you, do you like to use the specialist streak? Um... Playing bugs. I kinda gotta say yes and no. You know, I kind of like the fact that if I'm behind in, say, TDM and I'm just having a terrible time, then I can just put that on, and 99% of the time, I can either make a huge comeback in my score, or if I'm having a really bad game, then most of the time my team can personally carry me, but for the most part, I think that support's going to help your team a lot more often, even though that you get more points with specialists, you know, like I said, Winning is a big factor of me playing, so if we're not winning, you know, I'm not honestly having that much fun. But, uh, you know, I believe that support's actually great for the people that aren't able to get those huge scores, or even if I've seen a couple of my friends with 6 KDs using support classes, and they've been pretty decent with them. I mean, they're going plus 100 with them. What do you think about the Stealth Bomber being a support? I really disagree with that. I think it's that. Uh... I think it's kind of good because it gives those people that never seem to get kill streaks. Because I personally seen some people in Black Ops that I don't know how they have fun with a point two one loss and like point five KD. And you know, if you're gonna have a point five KD, you know, that's probably gonna be a really hard challenge for you to get any of the assault classes or any assault kill streaks. Rather, you know, I think that was kind of a good move because that is so avoidable on uh, NW3 right now. I mean, you can lay underneath the trophy system, or if you have colorblind assist, you can just go ahead and throw that on. You can see exactly where that stealth bomber's coming in from on yeah. the map. Well, the gameplay is wrapped up here, so I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm multi kills HD, and I'm out. Peace. Alright. Well, stay frosty, guys, and peace out.